Hello everyone. It is a great pleasure to explore our efforts globally and presenting ourselves in the competitive market with latest implementations in trending technologies. We are going to share some important highlights about the implementation of continuous integration and continuous delivery in Oracle Fusion, so, BPM, OSB, projects using one of the effective open source DevOps tool Jenkins. Here the architecture diagram shows the integration of all the components which contributes eventually in building and deploying the code through development, testing and production by utilizing the respective servers and maintaining highly secured and logging systems. Components like Jenkins, Build Machine, Subversion, JFrog Artifact Repository, Active Directory and Development, Stage, Production Servers can be seen here relatively working for effective DevOps environment. To acquire highly secured and authorized systems, Microsoft Add Active Directory will be used for managing groups and its users across the enterprises. And as part of our implementation work, we are using three groups and each group is assigned with respective qualified users. Let us first log in into the home page of the Jenkins portal using Dev Group User and click on My Pipeline tab which directly opens a build pipeline page where you can see all the dashboards located in their respective groups. In the dev group, two dashboards are shown and each can be triggered by the user. When the user triggers job by clicking on run, the dashboard changes into yellow color which indicates that the job is in running mode. Click on small icon present at rightmost bottom of the dashboard which in turn opens the console to view all the console logs. Artifacts are shown as JFrog girls and triggered email details are sent to the next group and finally the job success message is displayed. Again the build pipeline page appears where the second dashboard color changes from blue to yellow and therefore performing the same steps results in job success message and the dashboard color changes from yellow to green. You can also find the email sent to the each recipient mailbox notifying that the build is successful. Later open the Oracle Enterprise Manager and get logged in by using the required credentials. Click on the unit tests and select the test cases in the following table where we can see the calculator and the functions we use in the calculator like add, division, multiply, subtract. Select the test runs to see that the test cases are passed. Later select the subtract.xml on the table to see the XML values and XML codes by checking on expected and actual values. Log in into the JFrog Artifact Repository and search for the respective artifact in the browser to find libsnapshots local file having all the jar files. To proceed to the next level, stage admin group user logins into the home page of Jenkins portal and clicks on my pipeline tab which consists of two dashboards. Being an authorized user, the triggering key is enabled for this stage admin group user. For an instance, if prod admin group user logins into the in the home page of Jenkins portal, being an unauthorized user the triggering key is disabled for this prod admin group user and he cannot trigger the job and find the console logs respectively. So the stage admin group user logins into the home page of Jenkins portal and clicks on my pipeline tab and click on the triggering option which is present at the rightmost bottom of the dashboard to open the console and view the logs. Therefore you can observe job success message and in return the build pipeline page appears and the fourth dashboard color changes from blue to yellow and which in turn opens the console to view all the console logs with the job success message. You can also find the email sent to the each recipient mailbox notifying that the build is successful. Later open the Oracle Enterprise Manager and get logged in it by giving the required credentials and then we undergo the same process which we did in the dev underscore group. Log in into JFrog Artifact Repository and observe the artifacts in next snapshots local file having all the JOR files. Once the job is done in stage group. The color of dashboard in the build pipe changes from yellow to green, as job ran successfully. Now again let us log in with the prod admin group user into the home page of Jenkins portal and click on my pipeline tab to find the triggering option which is present at the rightmost bottom of the dashboard. Click on the trigger to open the console, so one can see all the console logs which consists of job success message, 
Again the build pipeline page appears and the second dashboard color changes from blue to yellow and all the console logs can be viewed here including job success message. Eventually the email will be received at the recipient mailbox which implies that the build pipeline color changes from blue to green, as job ran successfully. Later open the Oracle Enterprise Manager and get logged in it by giving the required credentials and then we undergo the same process which we did in the dev underscore group. Log in into the JFrog artifact repository to search for the respective artifact in the browser to find ext snapshots local file having all the jar font. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions, please reach us devops at eaidsb.com.